Update on the Falcon Heavy In this incredible video, we bring you the latest buzz on one of SpaceX's most powerful rockets. Brace yourself for a mind-blowing mission as the Falcon Heavy prepares to launch the top-secret X-37B into orbit. Witness adrenaline-pumping footage as this awe-inspiring launch revives the spirit of space exploration. Follow every twist and turn of this groundbreaking voyage, set to defy gravity and capture our imaginations. Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries of the Falcon Heavy's signature power and embark on a journey of astronomical proportions. Don't miss it watch now! Let's expose everything in today's episode. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. St we'll dive into the latest update about the Falcon Heavy with the important mission to launch X-37B. And, find out what trouble SpaceX is facing with Falcon Heavy. We also want to discuss China's mystery space plane. Alright, let's move on. The United States Space Force 52 USS F-52 is a mission involving the orbital flight of the X-37B space plane. This mission plays a crucial role in exploring and utilizing space for the security and defense purposes of the United States. Due to the significance of this mission, the U.S. military chose to award SpaceX in June 2018 with the responsibility of using the Falcon Heavy Heavy Lift Vehicle to transport this important mission into the designated orbit. According to the initial launch plan scheduled for December 10, there were several reasons related to the rocket that led to continuous delays in the launch schedule for the mission over the following week. Shortly after, SpaceX swiftly announced a new schedule for Falcon Heavy over the weekend stating now targeting no earlier than Thursday, December 28th for Falcon Heavy to launch a USS F-52 to orbit from Florida, which is certainly good news. However, what we're more interested in is the reason behind such delays. This is indeed the first time that the Falcon Heavy rocket has encountered issues, or rare occurrence for SpaceX, given the absence of mechanical delays in the majority of the 90 launches of Falcon 9 and Heavy rockets in 2023. Setting aside weather-related reasons, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy is currently facing technical issues within its rocket system. This includes ground technical issues and rocket technical issues. A high-ranking official from the Space Force spoke about the reasons for this delay. We're working through a couple of technical glitches with our SpaceX team that just are going to take a little bit more time to work through, said Colonel James Horn, Deputy Director of the Space Force's Assured Access to Space Directorate. We haven't nailed down a specific launch date yet, but we're going to have to roll back into HIF, Horizontal Integration Facility, and work through some things on the rocket. Horn, a senior leader in the Space Force overseeing military launches like this, stated that the ground equipment issue hindering the initial liftoff could potentially be resolved within two working days. However, more time would be needed to address other issues that he declined to specify. We found some things that we need to run some analysis on so that's what's driving the delay, you said. SpaceX was similarly vague in its explanation for the delay. In a post on the X social media platform, SpaceX mentioned that the company had temporarily halted the launch this week to perform additional system checks. To be honest, we can't know for certain what is broken, but for the rocket to be sent back to the horizontal integration facility and an almost two-week delay, it's got to be pretty serious. Either something at the pad on the rocket or both needs replacing and it isn't a quick one. Nevertheless, we still expect Falcon Heavy to return to the launch pad as scheduled so that SpaceX will complete a satisfactory 2023. We've got to look at the schedule and balance that with all the other challenges, Horn said, but I hope we can get it off before the end of the year. Well, even though Horn said hopeful, I'd say he's still not exactly sitting still right now, because China recently successfully launched a reusable space plane for the third time since 2020 in a series of secretive orbital test flights aimed at the launch. A series of orbital test flights aimed at developing reusable technologies to reduce the cost of space missions. An interesting aspect in China's plan for a reusable space plane, called Xinlong or Divine Dragon, in Chinese coincides with the equally secretive U.S. program of the autonomous space plane X-37B. Xinlong has completed two missions, with the latest mission lasting 276 days in orbit. Like X-37B, Xinlong is kept secret with no widely released images. Additionally, Harvard astronomer McDowell, who tracks rocket launches and space activities notes, it is indeed similar to X-37, he said. Both are in the same 5 to 8 ton mass range and probably about 10 meters long. 
the clear imitation of the U.S. model indicates China's interest in similar space capabilities. Therefore, it's not a coincidence that China's space plane planned to launch around the same time as X-37B. On December 14, China's launch took place just hours after SpaceX canceled the countdown for the X-37B launch for the third time the previous week. However, not worried at all, Space Force General B. Chance Saltzman told reporters at an industry conference this week when he expected China to launch Xinhuang around the same time as the forthcoming X-37B flight, and yet another twist to the growing rivalry between the two nations. It's no surprise that the Chinese are extremely interested in our space planes. But China's just actually launched their own space plane, very similar to ours. And a lot of folks are saying this is no coincidence. While we await launching our own X-37B for the seventh time, China launched their own top-secret military space plane for the third time. Which if all had gone according to plan, you know that ours would have been already launched around basically the same time. So that's another thing we didn't even mention right is a couple hours ago China made the third test flight of its version of the X-37. It has a Chinese version of the of the X-37 space plane and it gets launched from Fuquan in the Gobi Desert like the Zukui and it orbits for a few weeks or a few months and then it lands on a runway robotically at Lopner in the Chinese desert where the original Chinese nuclear test was. And so, you know, SpaceX may be having delays but the Chinese aren't. They're pumping them off. And so this new Chinese space plane just got cataloged by the US Space Force in the expected orbit. And so we gotta be tracking it over the next few weeks seeing what it's up to. Wow, that's very interesting. China's space plane also looks a lot like our own military space plane. Our US military has two of these reusable space planes in their inventory. Each has a cargo bay that could fit a large refrigerator. They kind of look like small space shuttles. And our space planes have flown in space six times some of the missions being as long as two and a half years. Well, they have deployable solar panels that generate power for longer endurance. So while we still wait to launch our own X-37B for the first time on a Falcon Heavy rocket, which I'll get into that in a second, Thursday China sent its own space plane on a Long March 2F rocket from the Xiquan launch base in northwestern China. Not sure if I butchered that pronunciation. Now you might automatically assume that the US and Chinese space planes will be spying on each other but keep in mind the orbits will not bring them too close together. Still, a U.S. Space Force senior officer says that these are the two most watched objects on orbit when they're on orbit. He says it's probably no coincidence that they're trying to match us in timing and the sequence of this. So for our seventh launch, which should be coming pretty soon. I hope it doesn't slip all the way into January, but the Space Force hinted that the space plane would operate at a higher orbit than ever before much of why it's going on a Falcon Heavy rocket. In the past, it's operated in low Earth orbit, some 110 to 500 miles above the ground, but Falcon Heavy can deliver payloads of 58,860 pounds, which is far more than the X-37B to geosynchronous orbit, more than 22,000 miles up. We're extremely interested in theirs, Mr. Saltzman said, according to Air and Space Forces magazine, a U.S. aerospace journal. There are two of the most watched objects in orbit while they're in orbit. It's probably no coincidence that they're trying to match us in timing and sequence of this. Therefore, executing this mission needs to be done in a timely manner, preferably before the end of 2023, and certainly it needs to be done in a timely manner, preferably before the end of 2023. And certainly it must be successful. This is not only related to the reputation of a company like SpaceX, it's also tied to the competition of the United States, a global leader in the economic, military, and space sectors. On the other hand, the mission also needs to be done timely due to a pack launch schedule that could be congested by the delays of the Falcon Heavy launch. When ready for liftoff, the Falcon Heavy launch, along with the military space plane X-37B, may take a high priority in SpaceX's launch schedule. Thus. While Falcon Heavy still grounded, the launch pad must remain prepared to spring into action whenever the rocket's ready to deploy. Meanwhile, SpaceX's NASA side pad is the primary pad for Dragon Mission's crew and cargo. It's also the only pad capable of launching the Falcon Heavy rocket, which consists of two Falcon 9 boosters strapped to the side of a center core Falcon booster. SpaceX will have as many as three missions from LC-39A, depending on a list of factors. 
after USS F-52's launch will be Axiom-3. According to a SpaceX official, the company has yet to pick a pad for the launch. The launcher recently completed a crew tower and access arm at SLC-40, allowing it to be used as a backup if LC-39A is not available. Slate to launch just a few days after Axiom-3, Intuitive Machines IM-1 mission is also slated to launch from LC-39A. Depending on the integration facilities available at each pad, this one might be able to be moved. However, what Moon mission doesn't want to take off from the same pad Apollo did? The final mission we have slated for the LC-39A in January is a cargo mission to the ISS, but this time not a Dragon. The first SpaceX Northrop Grumman Cygnus mission is expected to launch no earlier than January 29th. The most up-to-date information from NASA details the launch taking place from the historic launch site, but I see no reason why it couldn't be moved to SLC-40. One or more of these missions are going to have to be moved. While SpaceX has been lightning fast turning over SLC-40 between missions, movement between Falcon Heavy and crewed missions is a much longer process. Through a few other high-priority and sensitive missions in the bunch and timelines start to stretch. In other SpaceX news, the SpaceX Starship has been the most exciting story to follow in 2023. We know that spaceflight nerds like us have been loving the spectacle of this giant rocket, but there is another group who have been eyeing up the Starship with great interest, the United. States military. Something tells me that these guys aren't interested in flying to Mars or extending the light of consciousness or any of that Elon Musk space messiah stuff, they see a giant rocket-powered war machine. We know that the Air Force wants their own personal variant of the Starship, they've made that intention known for years now in fact, and according to news reports, the Air Force has been greatly impressed by the progress at Starbase this year. Back in January of 2022, SpaceX was awarded a $102 million contract by the Air Force Research Laboratory to demonstrate suborbital cargo transportation with their in-development Starship. Vehicle Concept renderings of this military Starship started to emerge around 2020, the idea being that making hops into space and landing across the world is a much quicker way to deliver supplies in the case of not just military maneuvers, but also emergency aid missions something the U.S. military does a lot of. Planes are slower and cause more pollution than a rocket launch, and so they have been looking into options for using suborbital jumps instead, but it hasn't been easy. Aside from just the normal setbacks from testing like the April 20th explosion that ended the first Starship test flight, there's just a lot of data that needs to be checked before a plan like this can be put into action. A suborbital flight might be able to get gear from Florida to Japan in an hour or so, but the Starship has to survive the flight, land safely in potentially dangerous environments, and most importantly, the cargo has to survive a trip through the vacuum of space. It turns out that a lot of objects require ambient pressure to hold together. Depressurization frequently damages electronics, plumbing, and basically anything that can't handle the sudden loss of external forces. SpaceX is probably going through quite a bit of this sort of testing, with their Dragon capsule right now as the Polaris Dawn missions will require depressurizing the entire vehicle so their astronauts can go for a spacewalk. NASA had to plan similarly during the Gemini missions that accomplished a similar feat, and the onboard terminals and flight equipment had to be built to withstand a vacuum. Then, there's the turbulence involved in launch and re-entry. The sort of forces that require training to endure. Airbody hardware is robust, but if you're planning on flying rations, water, and electronics, there will need to be some considerations for the bumpy ride. And the Air Force has some thoughts on some tests that could work, one of which is reportedly to just fly a Humvee into space, but in order for them to take the next step with this program, they need to see what SpaceX can do. In a November 1st interview with Defense News' Greg Spaniers, the chief scientist at the Air Force Research Laboratory laid out the rocket cargo program's plans for the next two years. First and foremost, 2024 is the big test. The Air Force needs flight data to make a decision on which rocket to select for their cargo program, and so they plan on sitting back and watching as SpaceX makes as many test flights as possible. By the end of 2024, Spaniers says that the Air Force will make its decision on Starship, and if they choose to proceed, then physical testing can begin. He went on to say that the program hopes to have a demonstration flight by 2025 at the earliest, but more realistically, 2026 will be the target. Should this work out, the Air Force will get a suborbital cargo variant that can quickly redeploy gear, supplies, and vehicles anywhere in the world, both to and from orbit.
And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member. So click on our perks through the link in the description below. Thanks to watching and see you next time.